What's up foodies? I got an amazing recipe for you today, smoked pork gyros. This is a twist on a classic Greek street food. Not everyone has a gyro machine in their kitchen. I don't, I know none of my friends have one, but I know a lot of few people who do have a smoker. So today we're gonna use a smoker to make our Greek gyros. And if you don't have a smoker, you could easily do this by omitting the smoker and doing it in the oven, and you'll still come out with amazing, flavorful Greek smoked gyros. So with that said, let's get into it. Let's begin by making our flavorful spice rub for our pork. In a medium sized container, I like to use an old spice container. Not an old spice container like, you know, the deodorant, an old spice container like, you know, for your spices. To a container, add two tablespoons of dried oregano, one tablespoon of dried rosemary, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of ground cumin, two tablespoons of ground coriander, two tablespoons of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic granules, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now give it a good shake to blend the spices together. Now you might be wondering, where's the salt and pepper? I don't like to add my salt and pepper to my mixture because I like to control the amount of salt and pepper that goes onto my meat. I wanna make sure I have enough salt on there so it's not too bland or it's not too salty. Now it is time to prepare our pork shoulder. Let's preheat our smoker to a temperature between 250 Fahrenheit to 275 Fahrenheit. Make sure you got lots of wood on hand because this is gonna take about six to nine hours. I also like adding a pan of water to the smoker. This helps prevent the meat from drying out during the long cooking process. And the moisture in the smoker also helps add smoke flavor to the meat. Now that our smoker is ready to go, let's start preparing our shoulder. Coat the pork shoulder with a thin layer of mustard. This is gonna act as an adhesive to help the spices stick to the meat. Now we're generously gonna coat our pork shoulder in salt and pepper. I'm personally using a 50-50 blend of salt and pepper. If you like less pepper or you don't wanna use pepper at all, go ahead and omit it. But I highly recommend not omitting the salt. Make sure you get nice good coverage on this because this is a lot of meat and it's only going on the outside. So we wanna make sure we get lots of salt on there. Now, if you like, you can add your salt and pepper to a shaker. It helps evenly distribute the salt and pepper evenly across the meat. Now that your meat's all coated in salt and pepper, it's time to add the gyro seasoning. Give it the same coating as you did with the salt and pepper. Make sure you get it all over. Now, insert a meat probe in the thickest part of the shoulder so we can monitor the temperature as it cooks. Meter just dropped a new product today. It's called the Meter 2 Plus, and they sent me out one to try. They're not paying for this. They just gave me the product to try out. I'm letting you guys know this. Full disclosure up front. But the new meter is pretty cool. It's got some new features to it. The new meter has five sensors in the probe, which is gonna give you a more accurate cook. Also, the new meter is now fully waterproof and it can hit a temperature range up to 500 degrees Celsius. So that means two cool new things. We can cook on fire and we can deep fry with it. I can't wait to do some more testing with this. If you'd like to know more about the Meter 2 Plus, links in the description below. Place the pork shoulder on the smoker with the fat side facing up. When you place the fat on top, it's gonna to help base the meat as it cooks. Now we're gonna smoke the pork shoulder undisturbed for three hours. That means don't open it, don't touch it, just leave it alone for three hours. Now during those three hours, the meat's gonna develop a delicious crust known as the bark. Once the initial three hours are done, what we're gonna do is spray the meat every hour with some lemon juice. Now doing this also adds additional flavor to the meat, but it also helps develop the bark. Now you're gonna repeat this process every 45 minutes to an hour until the internal temperature hits 165 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, we're gonna remove the pork from the smoker. We're gonna place it on two sheets of aluminum foil and wrap it. But before we wrap it, we're gonna add about half a cup of lemon juice. Now fold the sides up and roll it up nice and tight. We're gonna place our temperature probe back into the pork and place it back onto the smoker. And then we're gonna cook it until it reaches a turn temperature of 203 degrees Fahrenheit. You might wanna use two sheets of aluminum foil here to make sure it doesn't leak. I also like to put a tray underneath my meat when I put it back on the smoker, just in case it does leak. Now the meat is done at 165 degrees, but the reason we're putting it back on and bring it up to 203 degrees, this extended cooking time at low temperatures allows the connective tissues in the meat to break down and become more tender and more juicy. So it's definitely worth cooking it a little bit longer. And then once the temperature hits 203 degrees, remove it from the smoker and let it rest unwrapped in the tinfoil for one to two hours. Not touching it for one to two hours is very important. It keeps the moisture in the meat. If you unwrap and shred right away, it's gonna dry out pretty much instantly and it's gonna be dry. After the rest, open the foil and carefully using your hands, be careful, it is still very hot. I think I tempted and it was still 160 degrees, so it will burn your hands, be very careful. Or using a pair of tongs, shred the meat till it's nice and shredded. Now the pork should be incredibly tender at this point, so it should be pretty simple to do. You can pretty much take in your hands and squish it. Once you do that, nice sprinkling of oregano on top, just to finish it. Our meat is cooked, we need to make the wrap. So let's prepare the ingredients for our gyro wraps. So slice up an onion in its thin strips, and then we're gonna place that in some cold water and let it soak for two to three minutes. Doing this is gonna help remove that strong raw onion flavor from the onion. Once it's set for two to three minutes, strain off the water and place it into a bowl and put it to the side. Slice up your tomatoes, however you like them, and place them to the side. Heat up a pita on a pan with some oil. Place the warm pita bread to one corner of the aluminum foil. 
Now spread a generous portion of tzatziki sauce on the pita, creating a creamy base. I have a great recipe for tzatziki in the description below. Add the sliced tomatoes and thinly sliced onions to the pita. Now place a generous amount of shredded pork on top of the vegetables. Season with a pinch of salt. You could also add some french fries like they do on the streets of Greece. It adds an extra crispy texture. Sprinkle with some paprika and oregano on top, and then finally top with some freshly chopped parsley. This gives the gyro wrap a nice burst of freshness. Now we need to wrap our gyro. Lift up the corner of the tinfoil containing the pita and the ingredients. Tightly fold it over one side of the pita. Fold the other side over and then twist the bottom to securely enclose the gyro. And there you have it, my mouth-watering smoked pork gyros. The smoked pork, the flavorful ingredients, the homemade tzatziki, the fresh pita bread is going to transport you back to the streets of Greece. This wrap will truly impress any of your friends and family. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up, a subscribe down below, and until next time, foodie out.